My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Wowzy, wow, wow, wow. This car is nice. I'm telling you the attention, the detail is amazing. Fit and finishes top to bottom, inside and out, better than the factory did it. It's a real Dart GT in 1970, has a 340 motor in it, 391 sure grip in the back, has about 45 miles on it since finished. I put 10 of those on, it drove like a new car. Go to volocars.com, uh, that's where you can find the prices on all 200 collector cars that we have for sale. That's where you can read the full descriptions and study over 100 pictures top to bottom at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, that way you are notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me let's go for a spin. If you're all about the attention to detail and the quality and you want that car that is exceptional, that's this one right here. The bottom of this car you could eat off of. I don't suggest it because you don't want to get the car dirty. But the metal, it's a California car. There's all sorts of restoration pictures before uh, and, and during and after. Uh, it was media blasted down to bare metal. Uh, it's all original, clean, rust-free California metal. Underneath, all the frame rails, the floors, uh, the spot welds, the factory seams are spotless. The bottom lower quarter panels here have the factory pinch welds. The drain plugs are still in place. There's no patches, nothing cut or patched or uh, fixed. It's just virgin, clean, rust-free metal under this whole car. It was painted, I think they call it slop gray. Uh, just leftover paints mixed together, makes gray. That's what they painted the bottom of the cars with. That is correct. A little bit of the white overspray uh, when they paint the bodies floats under there along the edges. That's how it's done. Completely rebuilt suspension system. Uh, the steering suspension completely redone. Shocks, bushings, ball joints. The steering box was rebuilt and it's all detailed. It's all spotless, clean metal, front and back. Uh, the gas tank's the original, it's been restored. It's shiny like a new one. All new straps and hardware and sending unit, new fuel lines. Uh, new correct exhaust system. I think the company was Accurate Exhaust. It's a reproduction exhaust system, front to back, all new, has the correct chrome tips. Brake system's completely redone. I have a picture of the rear wheel and the hub off. You can see inside it's all brand new. It has the correct Kelsey Hayes disc in front. Now all the brake lines, hoses, all that was redone. You look up at the motor, it's immaculate. The oil pan, the starter, uh, just spotless. 727 Torque Flight Automatic is spotless, rebuilt. Uh, drive shaft is restored. 391 gears and the eight and three quarter sure grip rear end. Uh, that's completely rebuilt, has Richmond gears in it. Uh, getting back to the transmission, it has a four pack clutch, uh, 28 to 3200 stall. Uh, it was professionally built by a transmission company. All the, the correct factory assembly line markings were duplicated. If you look at our pictures, you see little yellow dabs of paint here and there on the shocks and suspension. That was done at the assembly line. They duplicated that back to original concourse uh, condition. This car is a concourse restoration. The body, like I said, it's original rust-free metal, uncut virgin body, absolutely straight. The gaps are right on the money and it is smooth everywhere. I did not find a blister or a crack or a dimple or a wave. Uh, nothing like that. Repainted the original color, uh, which is just called white. No fancy names, they just called it white. Uh, it's kind of a, a creamy white. But again, smooth. Got the Chrysler Mopar Pen Star there, but everything fits. It's smooth, no bubbles, no issues. Laser beam straight. 
emblem looks new, door handles look new, the vinyl top is new, all the stainless trim is the original, but it's been uh, taken off, straightened and polished. All the glass is real nice original, it's tinted, it has a new windshield. Uh, restored rally wheels with new BF Goodrich tires, the trim ring, center caps, all that's redone. The bumpers are the originals, not reproductions, or the originals been rechromed. Tail lights look pristine. Inside the trunk compartment, all clean, spotless metal, painted white just like the outside, no cuts or splices. Does have a radial tire underneath the board here. It also has the jack assembly, is all properly mounted and it's restored. Has new stickers, latches, weather strip, the rear seat divider does not have a mat. Door jams are done just as nice as the car. Uh, new weather strips, window seals are all redone. We'll get to the interior in a second, but it is immaculate. Up front, the grill was all restored. Bumpers re -chromed. Stainless is polished. Has the correct antenna. It's not the original 340, but it is a correct 340 has the uh, X heads, all the correct manifolds, valve covers, concourse restoration. I mean, right down to the dated Chrysler spark plug wires, reproduction hoses and clamps, correct radiator, and it's spotless. I mean, this doesn't look like it's been started yet. The engine bay is perfectly clean metal. It's all painted gloss white. And the alternator looks new. The horns look new. The shroud has the correct fan. Uh, the correct fuel filter, carburetor is completely restored properly, has power brakes, uh, the booster is cadmium plated, new dual master, batteries bolted down properly. The carpet is laid in there perfectly, it's not wrinkled, it's not cut short. The seats have all new cushions and all new upholstery. When you have new cushions, the upholstery fits tight as a drum. There's no wrinkles. Door panels, armrests are new. All the metal is painted inside. The dash was professionally restored. All the knobs, bezels, gauges, lenses. Uh, it has a factory AM FM radio that was serviced. It does have an aftermarket tachometer there. Uh, seat belts were professionally restored. Headliners new and tight as a drum. New visors, new mirror. We bought the car with about 38 miles. It has 49 on it. I did drive this car home. It drove sweet. Even up the front hinges, way into the fender, it all looks like brand new in there. The backs of the seats, the plastic. I'm telling you, you look at this car, it's like brand new. It has the original fender tag right here. It, it's even down in the nooks and crannies, it's spotless still. So there you have it. That's my impression of this Dart GT. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have specific questions or concerns, please make sure you ask. There's one tiny imperfection I just noticed right here, about half the size of my pinky nail, a uh, little imperfection in the paint there. So anyway, go to volocars.com. If you have questions, ask the salesman. They'll help you. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can get you financed. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.